What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your host of the most time boy double and clutching time boy TV. Welcome back. Today we're discussing Supreme once again. Today is no different. Uh, you know, you got that Supreme on deck, but uh, it's currently November 3rd or 4th, and this week we got Supreme CDG. Air Force One's dropping this week as well as the casino set so far. That's all we know. Just know that tomorrow I'll be coming on my retail and resell estimation so you guys know what's most profitable and everything. You also know all of the prices to make and all what to go for practically to make all that money, especially resale wise. And then again, I'll drop my opinions. Of course, you know what I'm saying. I always be doing that shit every week. And also, thank you guys for killing it on the Polar Ralph Lauren video. I appreciate that so much. We're about a 3.1k views. You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys so much. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out and discuss the upcoming drop list. But actually, some more shit did come out today, so I may be re doing that video uh, i'm gonna have to see depending on how schedule works and everything but i will be going through this week so that's also lit but today we're discussing the top 10 supreme items that they've ever dropped in my opinion these are my grails these are my top wanted items i currently own none of them actually this right here if you guys see the seven samurai tea this is one of my grails for a minute i did end up copying it for about I, i'm not gonna say exactly but no it was a great ass deal and also i gotta mention before we get into this the sticker giveaway i don't know where the stickers went i was actually filming a different video Hold up. So I'll be giving away all these stickers right here. You know what I'm saying? This $10 retail, but you know, you can sell it for whatever you guys want. Maybe more, maybe less, you know, whatever you guys want to do. But that'll be given away for free to one of you guys who just got to fill out the uh, form down below. You got to hit on my Instagram, follow that shit. Of course, thank you very much. And comment, like, subscribe. You, know, you just got to subscribe. You don't got to comment, like, I understand y'all. Don't feel, be feeling that shit no much. But you just got to subscribe, and I appreciate that so much. But without further ado, let's head into it. So first off, I'm going to say this is a lot of winter-themed items, mainly because it's about to be winter. And also the winter items that Supreme dropping is way more fire than a lot of the other shit. And I also try to include a lot of items from the, like the hats. I didn't actually include any hats because I'm not a big hat type of guy. But I got jackets, hoodies, shoes, pants, and all that good stuff. So I try to get from me, John. But these are the top 10. So first up, these are my ultimate grail. These are the Air Force One Nike World Famous. Now these dropped, if I'm not mistaken, a few years back. Maybe around 2012, around that era. But, yo, he's be going for a lot of money. Around to be selling B1s for about, like, $300. Like, some beat-ass white pairs. Uh, but these normally be going around for a lot, a lot of money. Damn, actually, yo, peep this, peep this. Diamond, yo, I just want you to know, I got a Discord notification. Shout out to FOMO real quick. Sorry for the interruption. Diamond, Canary Yellow, uh, SBs. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that because it's actually coming out because they canceled at Complex Con. But it looks like they're doing a pop-up in uh, the Jewelry District in LA. So if you're out there, shout out to you. But anyways, back to we got the Air Force One. The strap is super sick. The world famous is iconic logo, iconic name, Fly Supreme. And then that swoosh goes all the way around. It's pretty much your typical uh, Air Force One. You know, they've done multiple Air Force Ones. They did the NBA ones that I have in this box right up here. But they're kind of garbage in my opinion. Like, that's what I just be thinking. I mean, they're not the greatest things ever. But then next, move on to the pants. Now, these pants are the, the warm, dry pants. These are the yellow camo ones. Now, I did act was trying to cop these on drop day when these did come out. Uh, two, two, actually, a year ago exactly, to be honest with this season. It was the win fall, winter season of last year. So, fall, winter 17, if I'm. I'm almost 100% sure that's right. And also, peep the retail price is $128, cheaper than what it normally is. They raised it up to, if I'm not mistaken, around $130. So it's only $10 more, but you know, as it gradually increases, it gradually goes up and up and more. Just how with Bape, that's how they kill resale with Bape. They just kept on hiking up retail price and that shit just went up exponential. Next, move on to probably my favorite design ever done by Supreme. Now, this is the Ipka and Legal Business Controls America. Now, you guys who know, Supreme did drop these decks. Ooh, big bricks. It's like those are the Prestos. So you guys do know that uh, Supreme dropped these four decks right up here, the IBCAs. I actually do have two full sets of these. Uh, so if you're trying to cop, slide in them DMs, you know what I'm saying? But uh, this, the hoodie, oh my God. The hoodie is right up here. I'll put it up. This hoodie is so sick, especially in the black colorway. I know 12, my homie, he got in blue, but this in black looks so sick. Black is probably my favorite colorway to drop for this hoodie. However, this did drop a minute ago, and now they be going for a crazy amount of money, and they're super hard to find. I've hit up Grail, I've hit up eBay. A lot of fakes going around, so that's also the main issue to watch out, because my Grails are a lot of people Grails, and the Chinese uh, factories over there just be making hella fakes. Next, we'll move on to a BOGO. You know, I had to include one BOGO at least. I did only include one because I know everyone, you could just put BOGOs for everything because box logos are just, sorry for saying BOGOs, some people get offended by that. But here we got the Supreme 911 Memorial box logo. So this tee did drop uh, in around 2001-2002 after the very unfortunate event that happened in New York City. So actually when this did happen in 9-11, I was actually in New York City at the time. I was about one years old. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little less. I don't want to give out my exact age. Maybe I was two years old. But I was actually in New York on my way home from New York. And I actually had my own personal videotape of what my dad did. He got that shit on video. It was very sad, sad, of course, 
terrible day, but I always wanted this bell go because it just reminds you so much of the New York City culture and how everyone was brought together by this one horrible, horrible event. But enough of that, we go on to some happier times. We move on to the Supreme TNF fleece jacket. Now this fleece jacket is actually worn by Sean Witherspoon. He has one for himself, I always see. And also Kick Naramisu. If you guys are into the hype Instagram, some of you may know him. Kicks, uh, he be selling a hella, hella big rails. But the price is pretty high, but he does have all the items that you need. But this is the Supreme Denali Fleece, like a tan type color with the blue. This is definitely my favorite. They also have a purple and teal one, which is also sick, but it's a little too loud for my taste. I like the little simple one, and of course that patch on the left is sick, looking so sick. The other reason why this is my grill though is because they haven't dropped a fleece in God knows how long, bro. Super long ass time, but luckily, some mock-ups are saying that there are going to be some fleece dropping this season in part two of the Supreme North Face collab. So we're just going to see how that goes down. I hope they do, but you know, always know people always be saying something and always be going the opposite way. Next, we want to two photo tees. Now, the first one is the Raekwon photo tee. Such an iconic ST. First of all, they be having that Uzi and Elmo in one photo. I just think that's so sick. Definitely a super big grail. However, the tee, the, this retail price on this was about $34 or $44. Just imagine shit. Imagine just copping this tee and 10 years later, it's worth freaking, freaking almost a rack. This is literally worth almost a thousand dollars for this single t-shirt. I will never pay nowhere near that. I like, I like buying shit like Supreme and all that, but I will never be paying these exaggerous exaggerous freaking retail prices. These retail prices on some of these items be absolutely insane. People be paying these prices, but not me. That's definitely not what I'm doing. That's why you always gotta look on Grailed and eBay. Sometimes there's random steals, and always, of course, check out their authentic. But if you guys want some great steals, if you want to see all this shit for sale, make sure you hit up my Instagram, at hype underscore NJ. You know what I'm saying? Thank you very much. Next, move on to the K Moss photo team. I know K Moss, she's a businesswoman slash model. And believe it or not, I was doing some research on her lately. I'm not gonna say act like I do, but I don't know that much about her. But when I did, I found out that she was found to be a model actually in an airport in New York City. So that's in New York, not New York City, but in New York, which is also hella dope. So a lot of these items are relating to New York City because Ayo, I love New York City. That's my second home. But anyways, now we can move on to the Supreme TNFs. Now these Supreme TNFs, I have three of them. First up, we got to the Expedition one, mainly because I love traveling. Traveling is one of my favorite things to do. Here we got the Supreme Pretty much has the world map on it. The same one that reminds me of my middle school, grade school, whatever you want to call it. And then the Supreme on the left sleeve looking hella sick. And then we got the Supreme and the North Face patch on the right. And also features that. Now, if a lot of people don't know that this is actually, they brought back the patch. If you guys see with the six flags, Japan, the U.S., uh, England, Italy, what looks like in China and another country, I cannot tell. That's actually from the very old vintage pieces that they used to have for the Arctic expeditions. That's why it's called Expedition Jacket, mainly because they had that this patch on the front and the back because that was a team of explorers that actually worked with the, the North Face and everything. So that's actually explored the Antarctica. And actually, a lot of people do be selling the vintage ones. You can find them at your thrift store. It is hella rare to find, but if you do, make sure you pick it up because it is worth something on the aftermarket. Next, move on to my also, by all means, necessary... <laughs> This is also one of those iconic ass logos. Similar to the IPCA slogan, the illegal business controls America. This is by all means necessary. You know, business people, business people, you know. It's all about business. Business is booming. That's why also I can relate to this, but by all means necessary, this is a puffy jacket. Now this baby goes for around 3K, depending. Now this is also depending on size and color, of course, and condition. But brand new, these be going very, very rare. Uh, so if you guys do have one of them, if you guys do have any of these, actually, just hit me up in the DMs, please. I'd also appreciate that if you're trying to let go for some steals. But if you're trying to get full market price, I might not be able to purchase. But next, we want to the last but not least. Now, this is the duck camo. Now, I do have three of the TNS pictures right up here. But however, the duck camo is my favorite. Probably debatably one of my favorite TNFs. This and the Expedition one, it's tied. These are definitely two of my favorite items that Sabrina has ever dropped. These dropped a fat minute ago. These be dropping. These be going for around five thousand, I'd say, around five thousand dollars, depending, of course, on size and condition. Once again, this duck camo looking hella fire. I like the other ones because it's the red patch. Supreme and TNF have not done a red patch on any jackets in almost since this dropped. Uh, also, the red on black looks hell sick. It stands out a lot because normally they just have black patches that sink in, or like pretty much it doesn't stand out that much. Of course, and since it is a little design, I would like that to pop out a bit because you know I'm not super big on designs and logos. But if they do have that. And the red, phew, that shit a heater. But then again, you know, Supreme and TNF is also known for the snakeskin jacket, which is tragic. But anyways, that's about it. This was a pretty short video. No, I just want to let you guys know my top 10 grails. And if you guys have any of your grails, comment down below. I want to know what everyone else likes from Supreme. Now, Supreme has dropped a hell of fire and a hell of trash. But you know, this season is starting to heat up a bit with the CDG. And then we got December. December is probably the biggest week of the season. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And of course, we're going in store this week. So holla at me. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.